your biomass boiler has a lambda sensor, then you will need to clean this annually. There are a number of lambda sensor manufacturers, but the operating principle of them remains the same. The location of the lambda sensor in the boiler will vary dependent on the manufacturer model, but it will usually be near the hot flue gas exit. The lambda works by heating a ceramic element inside the tip, which when oxygen passes over it creates a small voltage, which can be measured and tracked by the software in the boiler. When servicing a biomass boiler, you will need to clean the lambda sensor as it will attract soot buildup over time. The simplest way to clean the sensor is to hoover it in situ. But if you do need to clean a lambda sensor, then carefully remove this from the boiler using an appropriate tool. Many boiler manufacturers will have a tool specific to your boiler, or will use a box spanner. Using a standard set of spanners or pliers will often damage the washer arrangement used to hold the sensor in place. First of all, unplug the cable, then carefully withdraw the lambda sensor, making sure not to touch it against the sides of the boiler. Then, shake it like a pepper pot to get the soot inside to come out. You are making sure that all of the holes are clear, but do not be tempted to poke anything into the holes. Also, check the lambda housing and cabling for any signs of damage. Once clean, reinsert the lambda sensor, making sure that you put any washers back in the correct order. Once the lambda has been replaced, you will usually need to recalibrate the settings on your boiler and test that it is working. Some boilers will have a specific calibration function. When restarting the boiler, it is always a good idea to check the lambda oxygen readings against readings from your flue gas analyzer. You will need to have drilled a hole in the flue spigot of the boiler if there is not a measuring point on the boiler. Insert the probe from your flue gas analyzer Watch the oxygen readings both on the boiler and on the analyzer to check that they are reading the same within a small percentage of error. If they are significantly different, then the lambda sensor may need to be replaced.